Hey, we're Epic Kai, and we're here with Seventeen to play a game called Then versus Now. We've been together for 20, 20 years, so there's been a lot of then. How do you think Epic Kai has changed over the years? Tell us in the comments. And also, we have a new album out. Epic Kai is here. Epic Kai is here. Our favorite clothes, like I guess the look that we used to like. Back in the day, I think um, it's actually in our lyrics. Like we we had like G Shocks uh, when we first signed to the label that we were at first. Uh, they kind of like sort of forced us to wear really crappy clothes. And uh, whenever I Google myself, like if I have to, or if somebody is gonna Google Epic High, I'm so scared that they're gonna see. Uh, like pictures from the first album to maybe like the fifth album just just horrible but now we just wear whatever we want so um, much better our favorite dance move Mithra and I are just really bad at it but now I, I feel like I'm getting better <laughs> no I swear to god I'm getting better sometimes I'm on stage Mithra's rapping and before when Mithra is rapping, I'm behind him just like, just like this, right? Because <laughs> like, this is this is all we could use, right? <laughs> we could only do this. But now <laughs> Mith <laughs> Mithra is rapping, and I'm behind him, and I'm like, Yo, look at this. Yo, look. <laughs> yo, oh. yo, yo, yo. This is now. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, how long we needed to memorize lyrics? Okay, this is uh, all Mithra and and me. But back in the day, we used to be really good. Like we would write the lyrics, record it, and we'd have it in our heads. But now it's like. I don't think I can go through a, a whole concert without getting at least 40% of my lyrics wrong. You're a little bit better than me. And it's getting worse. Like super rare. I don't know why, but I can't do it. I'm like, why are you boasting your song is a meme? Our songwriting process. I think the biggest change is we used to work at night. We used to always uh, like record or write songs like maybe starting at like 9, 10 p.m. or sometimes like at 11 p.m. and then work till like 4 or 5 in the morning. But now maybe like 10 a.m. till like 3 and then we got to all go and pick up kids and <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Basically, whenever school ends, we have to live by that time. Our musical inspiration. Where we get like musical inspiration from? Party every day, all Party. day. Oh. That's the inspiration for finishing songs. How close we are as friends. I think then we were friends, but it was like we were strangers and then we were put together like by ourselves. It was our own decision, but you know, we didn't really know each other at first. Uh, now it's like we went from friends to family. And by family, um, you know how people, some people hate their family. <laughs> you know, you just, you still kind of love your family a lot. If anybody attacks or disses our members, my members, and that person that is attacking and dissing is not me, it's not okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Our hair colors. What was the weirdest color we had? So yeah, I had blue hair once. I had white streaks once. Remember, like oh. third album. But now, I think we just we just roll with black hair because someday, one day, it'll just be nice to have hair. You know, we were born with this. <laughs> we probably won't die with it though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our favorite Epic Kai music video back then and now. Wannabe music video. Uh, there's a song called Wannabe. Yeah, I like that video. Back then for me, I think was maybe Fly. Mm -hmm. And now um, I like Face ID. Not Face ID. I, I think it's like a it's like a pop art piece. So check that out. 
the most intimidating part of being famous? Well, when we first became famous, I think it was we were just like grateful because we had such a difficult time like getting there. Uh, we didn't just drop an album and like blow up. It took us like years. But now, I guess the scariest part of fame is that like. I don't know, just everybody always watching what you're doing and not having privacy, I guess. Our relationship with high school, uh, so our fans. We don't have an actual like official fan, fan club, but fans got together and started calling themselves high school after one of our songs. Our relationship with them, I think, is like pretty much the same. Oh, piece of touch. Yeah, they make fun of us. We make fun of each other. We make fun of them. The older fans that have been around since like the first, second album, like they're all, you know, older now and they're married and um, all of them have like these amazing jobs doing amazing things in the world. Yeah, I like that our fans are accomplished and very busy. Our go to Norebang song. So, 18번. That's what we call it in Korea. Like, your go-to karaoke song, Norebang song is 18번. Back then, for me, it was uh, Eminem. Lose Yourself. Lose Yourself. Look, uh, if you have one shot, one opportunity. They made me sing that song once on TV. That, that TV appearance went viral. I basically was Eminem. <laughs> Eminem <laughs> 한국지부. Yeah, like the Korean division of Eminem. I think I performed "Lose Yourself" way more than Eminem has ever performed it. I've never had mom spaghetti. <laughs> My mom only made kimchi jjigae and jjanji guksu. Our approach to self-care. I don't think we Epic Eye does self care. <laughs> oh. like, we've never done that. Then and now it's exactly the same. We just never do it. I got this this shaving lotion from like some barber and it looks exactly like toothpaste. I like sometimes, you know, like my brain's not all there when I when I'm about to sleep. So I go in. It took me like 10 seconds to figure it out too. I was like this tastes, <laughs> no, no, I was like, this tastes really bad. <laughs> My teeth? Is it my teeth? And I'm like, like, <laughs> I look, I'm like, <laughs> I almost died. Anyways, our pre-show ritual. Mm. Back then, uh, we would just get like 3,000 candles. Don't <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 candles. And then we gather in the middle and we do a chant. Like we hold hands like this and we do a chant. We summon the spirit of of rap comes inside inside our bodies and then I perform lose yourself <laughs> <laughs> two cuts buy stock sell stocks <laughs> you know how two cuts has a laptop he always has a laptop on stage because he's you know playing the music with it I swear to god he's he's buying and selling stocks like on stage have you ever bought and sold stocks on stage <laughs> Our favorite Epic High song. Right now, my favorite Epic High song is probably uh, Super Rare from this album. Uh, back then, I think, if we go way back, I think Fly. What about you? Same? Right? Gray So Gray? Gray So Gray. Whoa, title. Yeah. How long it took us to learn choreography? Uh, Epic High is not much of a, like a dance group. Um, other than this guy, we'll be performing something very emotional and heartbreaking. The audience will just start laughing and then we turn around and it's two cuts dancing. Uh, so maybe you should answer this question. Then and now. How, how has it changed? Uh, same. Same? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Our biggest hopes and dreams for the group. I don't know. I think we're living our dreams. Well, my biggest hopes and dreams for Epic High then uh, was for as many people to listen to our music as possible because we were, you know, struggling. Uh, now, for Epic High to have even longer longevity and for us to be together, um, maybe even 10 years from now, I think our biggest hope is to not die. I hope we all die together. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay.